My name is Melanie. I've been living with my mom pretty much all of my life. I do have a three-year-old daughter. She'll be four in February. Her name is Alexandria. I'm Georgia Charbonneau, and this is my son, Constantino Schaefer. My mom needs to sell the house, right? And with being a low-income family, that was, that was putting me out. Renting wasn't an option, just because renting was so much. Being able to own a home was just on my budget. It wasn't gonna happen. When I was looking at mortgages and then looking at other houses, you're gonna get the rundown homes that you're gonna have to put money into. Haltane Crossing is the largest habitat development in Saskatchewan and the second largest in Canada. When the project is complete, we will have put 62 low-income families into affordable home ownership. There are three main criteria for selecting a family. The first is looking at the need that the family has. The second is looking at the ability to carry a mortgage. And the third is looking at willingness to partner. Each family is required to contribute 500 sweat equity hours to the building of their home and their neighbors' homes, as well as volunteering in our ReStore. By having the families contribute labor to their home, it builds a sense of community and uh, a, a pride in ownership. I was informed about Habitat and what they do, so I went to one of their information nights. I thought, Hey, why not, right? What do I got to lose? And then I got a phone call in May for a third interview. So in my head I'm thinking, well three interviews, that's got to be good, right? <laughs> so I went to their office and they sat across from me and said, we'd like to partner with you. And that was just wow, like that feeling was amazing. To actually get a new build and have a place to call our own is still a little surreal, but I got my keys, came into the empty home, stood up in my room, started bawling. It just means so much to us. Because <laughs> I never thought I'd ever have a home, especially on a low-income family trying to raise the kids on my own. It's a big difference. We all know how stressful and expensive moving can be and when we have low-income families that are moving their whole household, that can really put a strain on their financial resources. Finding out that we were going to be getting a civic steel box was kind of overwhelming because in the back of my head I'm like, oh, how many, I have one truck, how many loads am I going to need? Oh, I'm going to have to fill my gas tank like six times. So when I found out I was getting this, it was just like almost like a big weight had been lifted off, knowing that, hey, I can actually take my time. Having the big steel box was really exciting because when you rent a U-Haul or any other rental company, you only have it for a period of time. With big steel box, I had it for a month. I was able to load it once. Everything here was here in one trip. I've never moved like that. so. I was in a panic and everybody's like, just relax, you have all the time. And that was the nicest thing, that I didn't have that stress. 